Hey, Jay, how you doing? Thanks for your submission here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so the first thing I'm doing in this series of, of critiques is I'm taking students over to the announcements area to reiterate the importance of reviewing these announcements every week. Be sure you look at these, Jay. There's really important stuff here. This announcement area is pretty much your lifeblood, uh, your nerve center, as it were, for, for the class. So definitely want to get in here two, three times a week and look for new uh, I, I often populate these areas intermittently during the week, so you want to be sure you don't miss anything. Now, uh, these four videos here, of course, all the videos are important, but these four are directly related to spacing and, and uh, letter spacing and word spacing as we work on our first two-week assignment. So you definitely want to review these. Plenty of videos and tutorials in here. Look at all of them. Then take a look at Welcome to Week 2. Within Welcome to Week 2, there's four video tutorials. One of them specifically shows you how to kern fire and ice on a computer. So we're making this logical transition between understanding manual kerning techniques as they kind of transpose into uh, digital kerning techniques. So got a good, solid foundational understanding established there. So be sure to take a look at those. That said, I created this file. This file is from that video. There's a video in here, How to Kern Fire and Ice. This file is from that video. And I really took my time. I consider this to be spaced and kern perfectly. So we're going to use that in comparison to your piece. Now, don't uh, feel free. I mean, as I should say, don't hesitate and feel free, please, to use this for reference for your final submission. Um, I'm not going to submit the file itself because I don't want you to be able to take uh, the kerning uh, values. But I, but feel free to screenshot this and use it for reference for your final submission uh, coming up this Sunday. So here's your piece right here, and I want to bring this piece up so we can use it in comparison. We're going to talk about a couple of things: baseline, mainline, cap line, overshoot, craft spacing and word spacing okay so baseline mean line cap line we got the baseline we got the cap line we don't have the mean line cap line is definitely not level that's why this i looks so much bigger than the uh, it's it's other cap counterpart the f and as we use the top of this as a straight edge place the straight edge to the left hand side we can clearly see that that mean that cap line is 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 slanted so you, you definitely want that to be perfectly level seems like the baseline is close to being perfectly level so that's a good start no mean line in there at all got to get that mean line drawn in there because that specifically will show your understanding of overshoot which i do want to talk about next overshoot dictates that curved letter forms reside above the mean line below the baseline for lowercase letters conversely uh, uppercase letter curved letter forms fall above and this is curved letter forms now uh, for, for overshoot fall above the cap line below the main line we can see overshoot here so see how that e that curve that e rises above the main line a little bit below the baseline all curved letter forms do you want to depict that in your final submission um, note that the uh, ascender the serif on the ascender for the lowercase d has overshoot Conversely, so does the top of the lowercase i, that pointed triangle part, and as and in addition to the, the overshoot on the vertical stem of the r, lowercase r, as well as that teardrop arm, and then also overshoot here on all the curved letter forms. So you want to depict overshoot. My recommendation is to bolster your knowledge of overshoot by Googling typographic overshoot get as much understanding as you can you definitely want to depict overshoot in your final submission this coming sunday letter forms look good for the most part a little slant there uh, but for the most part letter forms are depicted perfectly so good job there let's talk about letter spacing letter spacing same same general rules with um, uh, curved combination curved letter forms uh, uh, curved in a straight and two straights same combination same general rules of kerning apply therein Let's go ahead and take a look. Fire, the, the, the distance between the cap F and the lowercase i, that's, we can close that down a little bit. Matter of fact, fire is really, really wide. It almost looks as though these are a series of four letters as opposed to one word. So you, so you definitely want to close down your, your spacing here. That's too wide there. That's too wide there. That's too wide there. Be, feel free to use this, as I said, as a reference but you'll have to take a screenshot of it as I didn't leave the original document. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the word and. And I think to me it's, it's current perfectly. So great job there. And then ice again is too wide. Actually, this space right here could be reduced a little bit. But ice is current too wide. This is these both these spaces here are too wide. And again, use this for a reference. 
let's talk about letter spacing. I think it, I'm sorry, word spacing. I think you did something really smart here. Um, right now, I think, well, let me, let me describe letter spacing like this. And the reason this word's problematic in letter spacing is it has to do with this open counter here and this open counter here. Remember, we talked about open counters during week one and how we need to adjust spacing based on open counters. And what I've done is I've closed this area down right here. This area here is more narrow than this area here. Right now, I think that you're spaced pretty good pretty darn good. It looks like you've already accounted for these open counters here and you've narrowed that space down. So I think your word spacing here is actually perfect. Um, so great job there. All right. So those are my recommendations. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any clarifications necessary, but I would like to see those, my comments addressed in your final solution. You're doing great, Jay. Thank you very much. Questions, comments, concerns, you know the drill. I'm right here. Thanks, man. Talk soon.